सो वेलकम बैक टू दिस एंगुलर प्लस लेरवल ऑथेंटिकेशन सीरीज एंड वी हैव द फ्रंट एंड एंड बैक एंड बोथ ऑन दिस वी एस कोड एंड वी हैव यूज द वर्क स्पेस एंड वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल वेरियस थिंग्स फॉर आर फ्रंट एंड फॉर आर बैक एंड सो वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू सो फर्स्टली लेट्स इंस्टॉल द जे डब्ल्यू टी फॉर द ऑथेंटिकेशन फॉर आर बैक एंड एंड इन द फ्रंट एंड वी विल क्रिएट सम ऑफ द कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड ऑब्वियसली इंस्टॉल द बुड स्ट्रैप फॉर द स्टाइलिंग पर्पज सो लेट्स गो टू क्रोम एंड हेयर आई विल से सिंपली लाइक लेरवल जे डब्ल्यू टी दिस इज सुपर ईजी आई हैव also a video for this jwt if you have comfortable with this just skip this and try to move to the component part of angular so here we have the documentations and if i go here you can see the latest branch is 1.0.0 hyphen rc2 so instead of downloading this jwt or installing this jwt via this command i'm going to do another thing let's go to backend that means the laravel part and composer.json file here i will simply use timon this is the repository name yeah here is the timon then timon so here we have slash and jwt hyphen auth and now the version is simple which is like uh, this type of cap and 1.0.0. rc2 yeah this one so 1.0.0 hyphen rc dot 2 this is good and now let's open terminal for back end only so you can see this is front end so to open terminal for back end let's just right click here and open terminal here so back end and now simply use composer update so this is going to update the composer so while this is updating let's again go to chrome and this time i will go to getbootstrap.com so getbootstrap.com and here let's go to get started then we have to go to instructions and the instructions where we have the installation part okay sorry to download part and in the download we have this npm command so npm install bootstrap this has to be on the front end so let's open terminal for the front end also so we have various kinds of terminal so this fourth one is for back end and the fifth one is for front end so in the front end that means in the angular project i'm going to install npm bootstrap so let's hit enter and it's now started to install the bootstrap next part is while these two this is installing jwt and that installing bootstrap i want to have some of the components here like in this we have the native component this one which is simply the default one so if i now open another terminal for front end let's go install deep dependency bootstrap for require okay it doesn't matter we we don't want these kind of jquery and popper we just want a styling part so that's okay so this means bootstrap styling is installed and to have the bootstrap on our project what we need to do we need to import it so to import it we will go to styles uh, let's close this app yeah style.css and here i will simply say at import and in the single quotes i will simply say this this kind of uh, symbol i don't know what it is then we will simply use slash bootstrap slash dist and slash css slash uh, bootstrap.css where this is uh, this whole path is actually this is inside this node modules folder and in the node modules folder if i scroll to bootstrap uh, bootstrap this one then we have to dist css and bootstrap.css so this is good so let's close all these things 
so this is now have in our uh, angular project so let's close style.css and yes if you want you can include that styles here on the angular hyphen cli dot json file and if you scroll down here you can define that also but i'm not going to do that here because i like that one okay so let's open once more terminal on the front end and i will say ng serve hyphen o that means open this uh, when you start the server just open that with the browser so the browser is here and it's now having localhost 4200 so you can see it's now have here 4200 and it's processing and this time it's having some kind of error which says node modules okay and that's the point on our source on our style we don't have to give this slash here so let's rebuild it and this time it is successful this means here if i refresh yes we have all these things and you can see we have some kind of stylings as the bootstrap styling but what i'm going to do i will go to app and here we have app.component.html where we have all these html and this logo so you have this this is the logo of angular and i'm going to delete each and everything because i'm going to create a new component which is called app navbar so this is the component i'm going to create i don't have that so that's why it will give some kind of error if i go yes it doesn't have anything so let's create so one more terminal and you can see as i have pressed plus it's asking me for which you want the terminals front end or back end so it is for front end we know so to generate a new component on our angular project we will use ng generate then component but you don't have to type all these things there is shortcut ng g for generate c for component and the component name is navbar but i want that to be inside a folder called components so you can see in our app folder we don't have any folder in the subfolder we don't have subfolder of component but this command will create that folder also and inside that it will create the navbar uh, component so hit enter and with some time yes we have created and you can see it's saying updated app.module.ts this means in here this means in our app.module.ts we have already imported that this means now we can use that component so inside the component we have navbar folder and in the navbar we have this component so let's maximize it and in this we have just navbar works so here if i refresh it's not doing anything because on our navbar component the app selector is app hyphen navbar and i have given differently so that should be hyphen navbar and app hyphen navbar and yes navbar works this is fine and inside this i want a container so here we have the container and this is awesome so let's go to bootstrap and search for the components and in the component we have the navbar in the navbar we can grab any navbar so here we want something to be on the right yeah this one is good navbar and something on the right we will change it to buttons so let's copy it from here open navbar.component.html and paste that and see what we are getting okay so we are getting this navbar but i don't want search and this text box here so i will simply try to delete it so, and if so if i give simple another one and i will call it uh, login so how about that yeah we have this login and that should be an anchor tag so let's give href of nothing for now so that we will hover over it and the hand icon come so this is good and we have created this navbar and we are happy to have this 
let's create some of other components we want so let's press command k to clear this uh, terminal and now press up key to have this old command we have generated so think about this what are the other components we need yes we have login and so this means we have to give a new component called login hit enter and again that should be inside the components i don't want this app folder to be filled with various kind of folders just for component so this is good again press command k to clear it and press up key to have the old command and now i need to create a new component for sign up so simply say sign up component hit enter for this one and once more clear and next component is profile then after we need another component which is like for reset password and to re have a reset password thing i will create a new folder called password and after that i will simply say request reset that means when we are sending email for the reset part then this will be the request reset and after this then response reset so response reset so these are the two fields we have generated and the component field is done so now everything is set up and in the next episode we are going to set up the jwt on our project we have just installed it here on this episode but we have done nothing related to jwt apart from installing so let's add everything to github you will get the source code so here i will say git uh, add all and oh, so we have to give a space and now say git commit hyphen m so the message will be created components okay so like this and git push everything to our github and now everything is on github so if you have liked this episode don't forget to share this video with your developer friend so that everyone know how to use laravel and angular and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye